What's going on YouTube? If you have watched any of my videos in the past, you may be one of the people that is wondering what I use for my camera and equipment on a day-to-day -day basis as a photographer in the United States Army. In today's video, we're gonna jump into that and dissect every piece of equipment that I use to capture the imagery that I do. This is the TMAC, an acronym for Tactical Media Acquisition System. Within this 85 pound kit are four different bags that are modular so I can choose what I want to use in a certain day. Every day I'll take the backpack with me and I'll take items out of each kit depending on what I need to shoot for the day. Alright, let's break this case open and see what's inside. As you can see I've got three different kits, A, B, and C, and then my main backpack. This main pack is where I pack everything that I need to use in a day. We're going to unpack these one by one, starting with the backpack. So first of all, we're going to jump into the backpack. This is what I use on my day-to-day -day work and switch this up based on what I'm using for the day. So when we go through the other bags, there might be some items missing from where I pick and choose items, take them out, and put it into this bag for the shoot for the day. So this is just a quick glimpse of everything that's available for me to use on a day-to-day -day if I'm in a rush and I don't pre-build my bag. So everything that I could possibly need to actually be successful in a shoot is right here. So we're gonna dive in. This is my uh, SD card case. So I don't actually have anything in here right now. I just keep my card reader. These are used SD cards. So once I've imported them into the computer, they go in here and then I'm ready to clear them off. In this case, I keep all of my fresh SDs. So these are ones that are blank and ready to go. I also have two compact flash cards in here, which Canon 5Ds use, but compact flash is very finicky. I tend not to use it if I can. We've got the Rode shotgun mic. This hooks onto the top of the camera so I can shoot uh, video if I want to. We've got the GoPro housing and the GoPro Hero 7 Black. This shoots wide angle, time lapse, regular video, and it's remote. So usually I'll mount this if we're doing any kind of shooting and I'll put it on a target so we get some cool shots. Of course, you can't go anywhere without the backup batteries. These are four batteries. I have two in here right now, but these are usually four in here that I can replace for the camera. If they don't have a cover on them, it means that they're used. If there's a cover on them, it means that they're brand new, 100% ready to go. These bags are neutral density filters for the camera lenses. What a neutral density filter does is it's basically like sunglasses for the camera. So I can put this on the front of the camera, uh, get some clearer shots when it's super bright outside. Or if I wanna do some uh, long exposure photography, neutral density filters help with that. Those are for the short lens, this one's for the longer lens. And then we have the Canon 5D Mark IV. I absolutely love this camera. Better than my personal 7D, so I use this one all the time. And then standard issue for the Army comes with two lenses. So here we have a 70 to 200 millimeter zoom lens. This one's an F 2.8, I believe. Let's take a quick look. Yep, so this one's an f2.8, so I can get some really cool shallow depth of field with this lens. I absolutely love it. And this is the sunshade for it. And then in the other case here, I have our shorter 24 to 70 millimeter zoom lens. And this one is an f2.8. And this one is an f2.8 as well, so I can get some pretty shallow depth of field. But it's really hard to do anything from far away if I'm shooting aviation or something. All right, so this is case A. We have case A, B, and C. Each one comes with multiple things that are gonna help me out 
if I'm looking to do specific tasks. This one's a little bit messy. Barely use this one at all. All this is is a bunch of uh, filters. So these are neutral density and UV filters. UV filters protect the lenses if they get dropped or shattered. I have my speed light flash in here. This is just a standard Canon flash. Haven't actually had to use that so far because the Canon lenses do really well in low light. I have my dual battery charger under here and some rain gear, cleaning supplies, just a bunch of connection cables, cleaning kit right here. So case A is not exciting. Inside case B. This is the case that helps me with editing primarily. We have a CD burner in here. I keep my hard drive in here. So I have a large lacy hard drive that I can import to. Uh, headphones for editing. Or if I wanna listen on the camera, I can do that too. This is my shoulder harness. I use this when I'm out carrying multiple rigs. Uh, it goes around your shoulder and then you can uh, essentially just have it by your side and not have to hold it the whole time. Rain gear. And then in here is all of my audio equipment. So these are two uh, lapel mics. What I use these for are for, one is a receiver, one is a broadcaster. You'll hook one to your interviewee and then one will be by the camera. And this is how you can interview someone without getting wires in there. And then in here I have an HDX zoom. What this is, is it records audio. I can either hook these uh, lapel mics into this or if I'm doing an interview, I can just record off of the two built-in microphones on here. Uh, and then I can, I can use that to transcribe an interview to do writing projects as well as photography because part of a public affairs job is also writing articles. And finally, in case C, this is mostly power supplies and GoPro gear. I actually have most of this taken out right now and it's in my backpack. Uh, but in here I have a couple of dividers. This is a power kit for international charging, uh, rechargeable batteries in here. I also have an extra waterproof GoPro housing so I can take the GoPro under water. Back here I have a, a large extension cable. Uh, what this is for is so I can charge multiple things at the same time. Cause when I have a lack of power, I'm gonna need that for sure. And then here's just a kit so that I can clean everything, work on my camera, take everything down. Uh, I will mostly never use this because if I'm going to clean the camera, I'm more than likely gonna send it in to Canon to get professionally fixed. Uh, I'm not gonna wanna mess around with that myself. So now you know what public affairs specialists in the Army use day to day for their equipment. If you have questions, need some clarification, go ahead and drop a comment and I will be responding to them. As always, thanks for subscribing, liking, and leaving a comment, and we'll see you in the next video.